Starting on Ayin Beis uh, on the bottom. Yeah. So Ve'elu and Ashalom Buur Mitumim. These are the uh, the Mishnah said that the only thing that you ask the Urim Vitumim are uh, communal fears, and uh, the only people that ask is the Avazdin or a king or something like that. So the Gemara says Ve'elu and Ashalom Buur Mitumim. Zak the Gemara ki Asar Vdi Me Omar Begadim Shekayin Gadol Meshamish Behen Meshuach Mucham Meshamish Behen. The um, there's there's two things. There's a kain gadol. It's a kain gadol. It's a kain gadol. And then something else called the meshuach mechama. Meshuach mechama is the uh, kain that goes out. He's the like the warlord. He goes out to um, he goes out with the uh, not a general really, but he goes out to give him chizuk something like that. Okay, so um, so so the same begadim, the shmeini begadim that the kain gadol wears, so too does the meshuach mechama wear. And Amar the big day akaydish ashen laren yulvanov. The next, the second in command, not really in command, but the second in the gedula wears the same clothing. So the Gemara says, um, the Gemara is going to ask a bunch of questions on, on this. If this is true that um, the Meshuch Machamel also wears the Shemayin of Agadim, so the Gemara says, Master Rav Adar Hav Vamer Lo Kedei Vamer Lo Kedei Yachol Yehi Benoisham Meshuch Machamel Meshamish Tachtov. We know that the son of a Kain Gadol inherits and takes the succeeds. The Kayan Gadol. So I would think that the son of the Meshuach Muhammad also succeeds his father. The same way the son of the Kayan Gadol succeeds his father. That uh, the Shivas Yom Yilbashem, the Kayan Gadol that uh, wears for seven days, he goes into Ayel Ma'id, his son uh, succeeds him. Um, only the one that's ready to go into the Ayel Ma'id. Who's ready to go into the Ayel Ma'id? Only the Kain Gadol. Why is the Kain Gadol only ready to go into the Ayel Ma'id? Because he wears the eight, uh, the Shemayin Begadim. So the Gemara says, Vim Isa, if it's true that the Meshuch Mechama is also the same stature because he wears the Shemayin Begadim, then Mechzichazi, he's also ready to go into the Ayel Ma'id. And if he's ready to go into the Ayel Ma'id, then his son should succeed him too. Amar Rav Nehru Nachman Vayitzchak Hachikam. The one that his main uh, um, point of anointing him is that he should be able to go into the Ayyamayyad, that he should be able to go in Yom Kippur, he's the one that uh, we say his uh, son succeeds him. Yes, the uh, comes to exclude somebody that uh, his main anointing is for going out to Muhammad. Okay, so now the Gemara asks another kasha, Meisve, that uh, we see that he does wear the Shemayin Megadim. Meisve, Meshulach Mechama, Eina Meshamesh, Loi Ba'arba, Loi Ba'arba Kukayin Hedit, and Loi Bishmayin Kukayin Gadol. The Meshulach Mechama is different. He's different than a Kayin Hedit, because he doesn't wear the four, the Arba Begadim of Kayin Hedit, and he doesn't wear the Shemayin Begadim of the Kayin Gadol. Amr le Abayas, Abayas doesn't understand. Elazar Mashvasle, I don't understand. If he's not like a Kayin Hedith, and he's not like a Kayin Gadol, so then he's garnished, he's just like a Yisrael. But you tell me he does, doesn't wear anything. Ella, Kayin Gadol Mishum Eva. The truth is, really, he should wear the Shemayin Magadim like a Kayin Gadol, but he doesn't because he doesn't want to cause any bad blood between him and the Kayin Gadol because the Kayin Gadol looks at him and says, I haven't said, I thought, I'm the Kayin Gadol. What are you? So therefore, he doesn't. He doesn't actually wear it. And Kain had it. So why doesn't he wear the clothing of a Kain had it? Let me read them because in kedusha you only go up, you can't go down. So a lower level is Kain had it, and now he's already raised up on on top of that level. So he's not a Kain had anymore. So therefore, he can't. Not only he he can't wear the begadim of a Kain had it. So he doesn't wear anything. Amalei Ravada Barava. Lorava, Vahai Tana, the Leslie Eva, you're telling me that he doesn't wear the clothing of a Kain Gadol because of Eva. Vilaika Mishamish, the Tanya, we learned, Varm Shemin Kain Gadol, Kain Hedit, the things that are different between a Kain Gadol and a Kain Hedit. Rashi takes out the next words. Parha Ba, Akol Hamitzvis. Parha Ba is a Parha Helm Dover, because all of Klai Yisrael brings a different carbon, they don't bring a par. But the Kain Gadol, if he does a Helm Dover, if he forgets, he does a Veiro, if he passes wrong, so. He brings the par helm dove, or par yemek He brings the par yemek purim. The serious eifa every day he brings the serious eifa half and half. Le pareya, he doesn't uh, let his hair grow when he's a avu. Le pareya, he doesn't rip his clothing. Avu pareya mulmata, but he rips kriya only on the bottom where you can't see it inside the seams. But a head yet mulmaila, but a head yet rips uh, regular kriya. 
Vei metama lo kreivov, and you can't be metama to his kreivim. Umetzuva lo psula, and he has to marry a psula. Umuza lo money, he cannot marry a money. Umachzer is a ritzeach, and when he dies, the ritzeach comes out from the ir from the arimiklot. Umakriv, well, when the kain gadol dies. Umakriv einen, and even though he's an einen, he still could be makriv. Vein vein eichel, however, he cannot uh, eat when he's an einen. Vein echelik, and he cannot take a portion to eat later when he's an einen. Venaitel chelik beroish, and he takes he takes the first portion. And he can be makrov whenever he wants. He's ahead of the line. If he wants to be makrov whenever he wants, even though it's not his mishmar, he does that krovo. And he does the avayda with the shmeina begadim. Upata al Thomas Mikdash Vikatu of the Gemara learns out, and this is from a Pasik, that even though normally you're not allowed to go in when you tame, he's not allowed to go in either. But upon him, he's taught if he's potter if he goes in uh, to the base of Mikdash when he's tame. And all the Avaidas of Yama Kippur is only kosher with him. Now the thing is like this in the end of the first base of Mikdash and the second base of Mikdash, um, they didn't have which they normally had. Normally, the Kain God was anointed. He was anointed with the uh, with the uh, Shaman Amishka. But uh, later on, he didn't. They didn't have that. So how do you make a Kain God? They just gave him the Shemayin of Agadim. With the Shemayin of Agadim, he became a Kain God. So the difference is as follows. <coughs> The Kulan and Ahagas Merubim Begadim, and they're all Naik, the Merubim Begadim, a Kain Gadol, that's only a Kain Gadol because of Merubim Begadim. Chutz me par haba, a Kalamitzis. A par haba is only if you're Meshuach. The Kulan and Ahagas Meshuach, Sheavar, and everything's Naik, and a Meshuach Shavar, Meshuach Shavar is a Kain Gadol, that used to be a Kain Gadol. Let's say, for instance, you have Ruvain, he's a Kain Gadol, and he becomes Tomei for whatever reason, he breaks something, he has a mum, and then so somebody takes him over. And then the Kayan Gadol gets back to normal, he, he gets healed. So um, the other kind, the kind that took him over, he uh, becomes uh, nothing. So, um, but he's anointed. A retired uh, Kayan Gadol has all these um, same things. Chutz, besides, Mipar, Yom Kippur, Vasir, Seifa. V'kul and Ein Nehegas B'Meshoch M'chaman. All these things are not noeg by M'Meshoch M'chaman. Chutz, Mechamish, Edvar, and besides the following fine things, Om Amur, and Mepharsha, Loi Perea, he can't let his hair go, Loi Perea, he doesn't rip his clothing, Loi Metama, Loi Kreva, he can't be Metama, Loi Tzuva, Loi Psula, he has to marry Psula, Muzal, Almana, and he cannot marry Almana, Loi Machzer, Loi Tzayach, Kediver, Rabbi Huda. And he also, when he dies, even on Meshoch M'chaman, uh, the son Somebody that's in the Ari Miklat comes back also. However, the Chacham Meir, the Chacham argue, and, uh, and they say that Ainim Achzer. Okay, but the fact is, we see that what? That he does not wear the Shemayin Big Badim. So, um, so the Gemara says, Ki Lesle Eva Bid Kavasi. You know, so we have the Shtikl Stiro over here, what's going on? So the Gemara says, you know what? Ki Lesle Eva, when there's no, when is there no Eva Bid Kavase? When he's on the same level as him. But maybe when he's ex Kain Gadol. But the uh, if he's on a lower level, Islay, then he does have Eva because he looks at him and he says, uh, why are you wearing the same uh, Shemayin Magadim that, that I'm wearing? Okay. Yasef Rabbavo, Vakam Allah Hashemayt, some Shemayt de Rabbi Echanan. Rabbavo said this halacha in the name of Rabbi Echanan. Adrinu Rabbami, Rabbasi la Payu. Rabbami and Rabbasi turned their heads aside. They're like, eh, they didn't, they did, they could, you know, they disagreed, so they turned their heads aside. Ikid Amr, Vachir Barab Amr, Adrinu Rabbami, Rabbasi la Payu. They don't say that it's not Rabbavo, it's Rabbachir Barab. And the Rabbi Rabbi turned the head to the Payu. Maskal, Lara Papa, Lara Papa asked, Mishlam and Rabbi very well if it was Rabbi Vo. And it was to him that they turned the head inside, Misham Yakr the Bekeser, because he was close to the government. So uh, therefore, I guess they were scared, so they uh, turned the head aside. El Rabbi Rabbi, the Nimru Lei, Mamer Lei Amar Rabbi Echanan Hachi, let them say straight to him, what are they scared of? They should tell him straight out. What do you mean, Rabbi Echanan did not say this? He also Rabbi and Amar Nishal, and Rabbi Oven said, you know when the Mishra Chachama wears his uh, Shemayin Begadim? That's um, when they ask uh, for the, from the Urim Atumim. By initial Itmar, the whole halachas of Shemayin Begadim is by uh, the Shela from the Urim Atumim, because he said they have to wear the Urim Atumim no, no other time. Okay. Tain and Amahachi, Begadim, Mishra Chachama, Mishra Chachama, Mishra Chachama, Mishra Chachama, Mishra Chachama, Mishra Chachama, We learned uh, uh, outright that the, the Begadim that the Kain Gadol uses for uh, the Avaida, that's what Mishra Chachama, Mohammed uses for to ask from the from the Urmutum. Turn around and Kate's a Okay, so how do we ask the Urmutum uh, questions? 
Hashayel pun of kapi nishal. The shayel, the, the person asking the question, he faces the nishal. Va nishal, and the kayin, the kayin godl, right? Va nishal pun of kapi shkina. His face is towards the shkina. So when you face towards the shkina, could mean that he looks down towards the urim v'tumim. Hashayel Omer Erdef Acher Agedud. Should I run after this uh, legion of uh, you know in the war after this enemy legion? Hazev and Nishal Omer Koyem Ar Hashem Alei Vahatzach. And the initial answer is let's say the answer came out Alei Vahatzach. He says Koyem Ar Hashem. This is what Hashem said Alei Vahatzach. You should go up and you'll succeed. So um, who's facing? I don't understand. Who's facing the war between the Kohen Gadol? The Kohen Gadol looks down. His face is towards the Shechina. Yeah, it's one shot. Okay, so. Um, you don't have to say You just say the answer of Alei Vahatzach. You don't ask Bekoil. In Vesha Aloi, we uh, it's like Loi Levad. We learn the Rashi says Loi is like only to him, so only he hears. So you don't ask it aloud. Loi Mahar but you have to. You don't to just to think about. Uh, the question you have to mouth it. Shenemar v'shol loy lufnei Hashem. Ela kederek shomer chana. We do it the way chana. Um, davent b'tfilasa. Shenemar v'chana he medaberes aliba. She spoke on her heart. So what does on her heart mean? That means that uh, you have to mouth the words. That's why when we daven, you can't just look at the words. You have to say the words, even though it's very quietly. But you have to say the words. So varm you don't ask two questions together, Vimshal, and if you do, the answer you only get answered the one, and which one? and you only get answered on the first one. That's the call. And how do we know this? Shinemar, it says by when David Amalek was running away and he wanted to go into Kila, so he wanted to know if he'll get captured there, and he wanted to know if the if the heads of Kila will give him over to Shaul. So he asks Haskiruni Bala Kila. He says, uh, should I go uh, and hide in Kila Biyadai? Hayeri Shaul. He wanted to know if the if the people uh, um, um, of Kila will give him over to Shaul, and if Shaul will come there. So um, so his answer was, Biyam Hashem Yerid. Hashem said, yeah, Shaul's going to get there. Ah. So the Gemara says, So one minute. So first thing, well, what's the proof from there? The proof from there is that even if he has two questions, you only get one answer. But the problem is, he, Hashem answered on the second one, not on the first one, because the first one was with the people of Kila give him over, and the second one was with Shaul come there. And the answer was that, yes, Shaul will get there. So the Gemara says, What do you mean? We thought he only answered the first one. So the Gemara says, David Shaul, Shalek is saying, the truth is, David asked in the wrong order. Why in the wrong order? It's very simple. Because the only time the people in Kila will give over David, or the question if they'll give over to David, is only if Shaul will come there. Right? If Shaul is hiding out in the city, if so, if David Amal is hiding out in the city, and Shaul comes to conquer the city, so will he? The question first is: he first has to come conquer the city, and then if he conquers the city, will the people in the city give over David Amal to Shaul? So really, he asked the question backwards. So he got the answer on the question that should have been asked first. And then he realized that he asked the wrong order. He re asked in the right order. Will they give us over? Okay. But the fact is that if you really need, if you really need both, the answer comes together. Should I run, should I run after this legion? Will I, uh, will I conquer? them okay go run after because you're gonna you're gonna get them and you're gonna can you only ask questions on like on battle like this or? we said only communal questions communal questions about battle or, or no it could be anything but it's uh, we see a lot of battle not questions. like stock market not stock market stuff okay so also it's illegal so you have a okay so um even though a gzair of a navi can change, gzair is the gzair of urmutum does never never changes. because the the urmutum is called the chayshem mishpat. Mishpat is called a din. Now a din never changes. Once bez and paskins they can't change. Why is it called the lighting up and tum means whole? Urim shemir is the vrein. Their words um, light up. We'll see soon. Shemira, um, 
Shemir is the Reim. Tumim Shemashlim is the Reim. Tum means because this is it. This is the end of the, the words, that these uh, words cannot change. Vim Taimar. So if you're going to tell me that uh, these are whole words and they don't change, Vim Taimar, Begivus Biyom, Taimar, Loyishlim. Well, the problem is, by Givus Biyom, they asked if they should go and fight with Binyamin. And it said yes, and they lost the war over there. So the Gemara says, Heim Shlei Bichnu, Imlanatzech, Imlanatzech. The problem is, when they asked by Binyamin, they didn't ask, yeah, we know the story over there. They went up, they wanted to fight against Binyamin. So, um, um, so they asked, should we go fight? And the Umar Tumim said yes. And then they lost. And they went again, they asked, should we go fight? They said yes. But until they figured out, they didn't ask if they're going to win. <laughs> so that was their problem. The, the Umar Tumim said, yeah, they should go fight, but they're not going to win. Anyway, so that's what the Gemara says. The Gemara says it was their loss, it was their fault. They didn't ask correctly if they're going to win or not. The last time when they asked, he schema and the woman to take answer them shenema or pentlas ben Allah ben Aaron aimed the lafan of yom haim lamer ha ice of eight lots of should we go out against the war in bnei yom with bnei yom and achi him achdo or we should hold back the emar shem alu kimachar tenu biadacha and we go up because they'll be given your hands kate sanasis so how does the how does it light up? You said before it lights up. How does it work? How does it give the answer? It pops out. The letters pop out. It uh, it comes together. So that means that you have to put it together. Like it'll, you know, let's say the iron of uh, I don't know the letters. what letters are mixed up. You have to undo it. The, no, the mitzarefes means it doesn't, it, 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 I see you know a little nothing. But uh, it normally does, it, it seems like that the letters would come up in order, and uh, let's say ayin by Allah Yehuda, it comes up ayin, then the next lama, then the next hey, it'll come up in order. Um, yeah, there were times though the alarm of Farshim saying Navi. There were times when they made mistakes that they it came. That was the problem. That, okay, let's see the end of the Gemara. Maybe, maybe it'll be clearer. Um, So, um, okay, the problem is, how can you have every answer? It doesn't say it's Adi. So the Gemara says, It's Avram Yitzhak Yaakov is also written there. There's no test. Amar Vachem Yaakov, Shifte Yishurin, Ksiv Sham, says that also. Meisve, Kol Koyin, Shein, Medaber, Ruch Kaddish. Any Koyin that doesn't, it doesn't have Ruch Kaddish, and Vishkina, Shaira, Love, and it doesn't have Vishkina, Ein Shailam, but it cannot ask the Rumatum. So there's questions like this. This will answer your question. So the question is, I don't understand. If everything is Mitzar, if it comes out so clearly, the answers come out very clearly, exactly what we should do, so what do you need the Ruach Kaddish for? What do you need the Ashroi Sashkina in order to ask a question? It's very simple. If it's a clear communication, then the answer will come up. So, the, it's a, how do we know that um, you have to have Ruach HaKadosh or Ashura Sashkina to ask? Sha'ari Shal Tzadik Va'lasa Va'alsalai Because Tzadik asked uh, by David and Melech sent up Tzadik after Av Yasser Va'lasalai After Av Yasser, the, it didn't, it, he didn't get an answer when he asked the question. So um, he sent up um, 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 Tzadik HaKayim. Right? David Amel sent up Tzadik HaKayim. So anyway, we see, because over there, because of Yeser, didn't get an answer. And that's how David Amel figured out that he doesn't have Ashur HaShashkina. So the fact is, the fact is that you need some sort of Ruach HaKadosh in order to speak to the Chayish Mishpat, the Ur Matumim. So to get an answer from the Ur Matumim. So the question is, that it's seemingly before, when we have Machlech, it's just how it communicates, but it communicates clearly, and you don't need Ruach HaKadosh. So the Gemara says, you have Messiah Badayu, it works together, they help out. It means that um, if, if you have Ashura Sashkina, if you have Ruach HaKadosh, then the letters will come out. The letters will not uh, present themselves unless you have uh, Ruach HaKadosh, or it could answer your way. That it could be, hold on, it could answer, or we could answer his question before, that it could be that it comes out in not a clear fashion, and you need Ruach HaKadosh in order to understand it. So it'll come out in order to decipher you need Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah, but over there, it doesn't mean that it was Zuhun Vatumim. I, the way I, if I remember correctly, it wasn't over to him. That's why she told, she told him back that you don't have Ruach HaKadosh. She, she showed him that you don't know. You don't know what's going on with somebody else. Um, yeah, the truth is, it makes sense that it wasn't over to him because he said it's only communal matters. I don't know. Okay, Vein Shailen. David Heidi, or whether you should go in. 
was a personal matter. Although he was no, no, he had he had a whole troops, and this was a very communal. A revolution is not uh, personal. Vein Shailen El Melech. Only a uh, Melech uh, could ask her. I've best let me learn. Minani Mili, Amr Vavod, Amr Kro, Fne Allah's Arkhain Yamid, Vishal Loiba Mishpat Urun. Who? Who asks Zahamel, Zemel? Vachol Bene Israel, Itai Ze Mishach Machama, Vachol Eda Zusan Hadron. Okay, Hadron Lach Boloi Kain Godel, Hadron Lach will get back to you. Zakta Mishnah, Yemek Apurim, Asa Bachila. In Kippur, it's Asar. It's prohibited to eat ubeshtia and to drink uberechitza and to uh, wash ubesicha and to smear like uh, creams and oils ubeinilas a sandal to wear uh, it's also also to wear shoes ubetash b'shamita and marital relations va'melech va'hakala. However, a melech and a kala a kala is thirty days after the chasana and a melech is a chash of a person. So therefore, the yirchutz penim they're allowed to wash their face. Vachaya and somebody that's giving birth, Tinala Sasandal, she's allowed to wear uh, shoes not to be cold from the floor. Diver Rebeleza, that's what Rebeleza holds. Rebeleza holds, there are people that uh, that need these uh, things. Vachacham Isim, however, the Chachamim argue. And they hold that it's Asr. Ha'echel Kikasavis Hagasa, if somebody eats a uh, fig, a date, Kikasavis Hagasa, that's what you're over on. Not a Kazayas, you need a. a, a, a you need a, a kesevus hagasa. Why? Because Yom Kippur is different than every other eating. Normally, every iser of eating is a kesayis or a vias, a kesayis. But over here, it's different because the because the Torah calls it a, 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 a yoyminisem. You have to pain yourself. You have to cause pain. So that's a different type of eating, right? You, just because you eat a little bit, that doesn't cause that doesn't hold you back. They need to be more. Vayichol kesevus hagasa. It's the whole thing. That means that it's the flesh of the fruit together with the pit. That's the size. And if you drink a, a cheekful, then you're kaif. Okay, so eating and drinking in Kippur has different shear. Eating is a kisabis agasa, a date with the pit, and drinking is a cheekful. Every food, every salad is mitzvah. So if I eat, uh, I don't know, potato chips with a cookie, so it's mitzvah. That's right. What? All the, foods add, all the foods add up together. Add They're mitzvah together, together to the shear. The cholamashkim mitzvah from the lugmov, and all the drinks add up together also. Echol v'shesa a mitzvah. And however, food and drink are not added together. So that's your right? Yeah, I think so. The problem is, if we look at the Mishnah again, the Mishnah said, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, it's prohibited to eat and to drink. So the Gemara asks, I don't understand. Asr, it's a lot more than that. Dainish Karasu, you get cars for it. Why are you saying that's Asr? Amar Rabbi Ilo, Vitei Mer, Rabbi Yirmiyo, Lenitzcha, El Al Chatzishir. What we mean by Asr means that a Chatzishir, even a Chatzishir is Asr. You don't get cars. So you're right. So cars is only on the full share. And our Asr, we're coming to say that even the Chatzis Shir is Asr. So the Gemara says, very well, this is very well according to the Mount Omar that holds the Chatzis Shir is Asr Minot Torah. If you hold that it's Mutter, so you can't say, why is the Mishra say Asr? It's Mutter Minot Torah. What are you going to say there? So um, the Itmar Chatzis Shir, how do we know this? Itmar Chatzis Shir, Reb Yechen and Raimah, Asr Minot Torah, Shlach Hashem, Mutter Minot Torah. So Hanich Lerb Yechen and the Holds it's Aser El Rishlakish Mayek Lameimar. So you say Moed Rishlakish Sha Aser Moed Rabbanon. Rishlakish agrees that it's Aser Moed Rabbanon. So um, if it's Aser Moed Rabbanon, then the, the Mishnah means that that's Aser. Okay, you know I'll stop over here. Yeah.